Yeah. You be building it yeah, up. I'm like, oh, he building it up. Yeah. Here it go. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you feel me? Walk a nigga down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You be walking yeah, walk it down. down. Yeah. You be walking that shit my down. Style, for like sure. an angler. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm a punch for sure. Like, so it's different styles in battle rap, too. I'll break that down. It's a lot of niggas who just straight punch lines, like how a fabulous Lloyd Banks would be, where they just thinking of clever shit to say about a nigga all day. They going to punch your head off with this rhyme with this, this rhyme with this. If your name's Smack. They going to use Smack a gang of ways. Ah, smack, Smack, Back, Smack, Back, Smack. You know, all the <laughs> They gonna do that. They gonna punch the nigga. They gonna punch the. It's the niggas who go have. It's the niggas who scheming, and they gonna take your name and, and yeah. put everything that that go together. So if a nigga talking about liquor, he gonna name some shit like yeah, man, the Nejo, the Don, the Julio, the the bottle, the pour it out, all of that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Then you got niggas like myself who I punch, but I also angle. So I'm gonna find some that I feel weak about you and expose it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like, 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 man, this nigga, man, he a sucker, like, and I done seen him do some sucker shit. I'm finna, I'm finna break that down about him, you know what I'm saying? Uh, man, yeah, he done did some snake shit, man, nah, we gonna talk about that, like, I'm really gonna break, break, I'm a character breaker down type nigga, you know what I'm saying, yeah. in, in, in battle rap, like, if I see a flaw, I'm gonna attack that, you know what I'm saying, and that's really my style, you know what I'm saying, like, okay, yeah. this right here, where he lacking that, and I know the fans also see this, because everything play out in front of the cameras, you know what I'm saying? So, like you say, if a nigga done got fired on on camera, we gonna talk about it, like, Oh yeah, man! When that nigga math socked you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? He didn't do nothing. Boom! You feel me? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah There's a lot of that. So yeah, that, that's more of my style right there. Like you know what I'm saying? Like angling. You feel man, me? take me back to the beginning though, because yeah. when did you figure out? Like you, like you knew this shit was for you. Like you know yeah. what I mean? Like this. Here it go, man. Like who did you discuss with? Like your homies? Like man, cuz do this yeah. battle rap and shit. Cause shit, my homie, right th- my homie, that's right there. My homie, that's right there. If I'm being yeah, gay, yeah, if I'm being hundred yeah. percent honest, yeah. I never really was into no battle rapping type shit. So when we was growing up, I'd probably say like in the hood and shit, that was cud lane. Like as far as like battling niggas and going and like, you know, nigga, like I say, wasn't no cameras and shit. So we like going to other niggas' hoods, rapping and doing all that or uh, comp the high, battling other niggas. That yeah. was cud, you Punch. feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cuz doing that. So I would see cud like, yeah, the homie hard. He chewing niggas up. But I probably was more in the studio rapping or doing it like that. As we got older, uh, my guy, his name Kevin Parks. That's when they, they uh, he reached out to one of my other partners about a battle. And he like, man, we got like $100. Niggas come here and freestyle, do some little shit. We wasn't doing nothing that day. So we like, fuck it, we'll pull up. We go up there, we do that. And end up kind of like, you know what? This shit was kind of cool. Nigga might stick with it. You know what I'm saying? After that first battle, like I told you, where the shit did all that, it was it was then, right? It was probably like right around that time. I said that was like 2014. And niggas like, man, you know what? This shit kind of like, it ain't really that bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, we could do this. You feel me? Me and Cuz chopping it up because he battled that same day. Yeah, we feel like, yeah, like, man, yeah. Cause like yeah. we feel like they will. We, we can take this off. Yeah, well, that's how we look at it. Like, man, this yeah. shit like. It's a lane. It's a lane right yeah, here. Like, you feel me? Like, off. like it's man, a hold lane. on. Cause we finna just, man, come on, man. When the next one? You know what I'm saying? When the next one? When the next one? Then once by we got a, like two, three in, like we already, fit, like, you know what I'm saying? Ain't like we up here faking. We ain't studio. We ain't, it's you know lame. what I mean? We ain't doing that. All we doing is really rapping our real life. And we like, and this a lane to keep a nigga focus too from what nigga going through in these streets nigga trying to stay out of jail nigga trying to stay alive so this something that's that's when I, when the homies with some of these battles fall out how we had to come out here battle mm-hmm. before so all right we gone that that that'll get my homie something to do that day outside and mm-hmm. shit like that so that was also a motivating point too though you know what i'm saying yeah. like giving motherfuckers a little hope so everybody behind the nigga like pushing like man that nigga got he could you know what i'm saying he, he going you feel me so that was what kind of helped propel me to be the legend that i am today like having that support system and having that that vision of like okay man like this is a way you know what I'm saying I can show some of my young niggas something different too you feel me it's niggas who started battling that's younger than me niggas that start rapping doing different shit and even niggas that ain't just from the hood it's a lot of west coast young motherfuckers that probably seen me do it and they start doing it you know it's a lot yeah. of young <laughs> battlers on the west coast a gang of them it's just you know it's not as uh, popular as other places but it's a whole lot of dudes out here from different hoods and different sections and different walks of life that, that battle rap out here you know the preparation man I always wanted to know about too because like i said i'm like these niggas is stupid smart because ain't no yeah. motherfucking way i can remember all oh, that yeah. shit and then you know what i'm saying oh, like yeah. that nigga might throw you off with some shit you yeah. rap and he just said some shit like hold on nigga how i'm gonna come you mm-hmm. know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. you be like okay you said that 
But it's like, they, yeah, yeah, like, oh, I'm gonna, yeah, 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 I'm gonna say this yeah. little shit, and then boom, you get back into your routine. Mm-hmm. I know when you into your, yeah. you know what I'm saying, yeah, what you, you know were what supposed to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm like, okay, this, like, how the fuck is the prep? Like, how difficult is that, that preparation difficult. for that, man? That shit difficult. Like I said, you gotta go zero. You gotta really like zero in. You know what I'm saying? What? Like it be days where you can't. It's like, man, I ain't, I ain't coming outside. I gotta really focus. This a, cause this, like I say, is make a break. So, and I'm taking my shit serious, and I done got to a level to where it's a stripe to, to win against me. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. a motherfucker, I might not even be taking it as serious as the other nigga now, cause to me, then became a check or became just another day at the office. You know what I'm uh-huh. saying? But it's a nigga that's looking at it like, hell no, I want to go back and tell a motherfucker I smoked. Man, he go right the yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So that be, I be having to prepare for that. Like, all right, this motherfucker finna really try to bring it. You know what I mean? So it be days, like I say, you gotta, man, write that shit, memorize that shit. We practicing it over and over, sparring, talking to other battlers that's that's doing it. They sparring their material. We sparring our material. You know what I'm saying? Staying sharp. The rebuttal and that, everybody can't do that. The, the, yeah. What you was talking about where you can just catch a nigga saying something and then flip it right yeah, back on him. Like, that take, that take preparation too. Like, not being, like, being fearless in the moment. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Because, like I say, it's one shot. So you trying to rebuttal what he say and make these niggas right here understand what you saying and make it dope enough because niggas is not just doing simple ass shit no more either. Exactly. Motherfuckers is doing triple entendres to where I done said this and this mean three, four different things. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it take it take constant preparation, reading, you know what I mean? Your vocabulary being up, man. Some of that yeah. shit, watching TVs and being up to date in current events so you can yeah. be able to all that shit like, yeah, yeah. Like it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a tough preparation like to be at the, you know what I mean, the highest level. So you got to really indulge on in Everything. life. Life. Yeah. yeah. You got to indulge in life, yeah. just period. Just people, while your people watching skills yeah. is on 200,000. Mm, yeah, everything, you know yeah. what I'm saying? For sure. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you got to be. some material. Yeah. yeah it's mm-hmm. like, nigga, you feel me? Like, I'm like, this nigga cold. Like, yeah. nigga say something to you, like, okay, yeah, yeah I, got I got you. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm registering the thing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, right. okay, yeah, yeah, nigga, because, yeah, Boom. nigga, yeah. fuck you too, yeah. nigga, with the hair, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. And then you get into your shit. Oh, he's like cold. That. But like you said, like, like a nigga that. take you as a strike, like, in yeah. this shit, like, oh, oh yeah, that's, that's a nigga right there. Mm, I, 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 gotta get, that. I gotta get that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They be up. trying hard as a bitch, though, For but sure. that preparation shit, like, I was like, bro, like, that has to be, like, yeah, man, yeah. you need, every every single one of you niggas need y'all yeah. flowers for that, because nah, that shit, the difficulty it. level of that shit it. is, like, on another level, and yeah. I think a lot of people need to appreciate that shit, though. Instead of, you know, motherfuckers talking shit, like I said about that stigma you yeah. feel me hanging over a nigga head y'all need yeah. to be seeing what's going on what we because actually it got doing its, it got its actual culture though too though so I can understand if you are not really tuned in to battle rap you won't know what's going on you know what I'm saying like it's mm-hmm. people even that don't be tuned in that ask me that'll be like hey what you, what they do y'all bet money and like asking shit like that and I'll be like bet money like hell no like you know what I'm saying like I'm charging my price going up there like a, everybody else you know what I'm saying like nigga this is a whole thing now this ain't no we ain't up here betting and, 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 and going up here for free dancing around and all that like so people don't be informed with that shit as well so for the ones who are informed I think they know and it, it started to get bigger it was on caffeine when they had that you know what I'm saying yeah. last year so it got to its highest point that's when Drake was involved because it was on that platform and they was giving it away for free so a lot of times these events be pay-per-view so if you don't know and you don't know where to get the pay-per-view you is gonna miss out but at that time when that app it was free so a lot more people was tuning in that's what got a lot of the battles you know, got a lot of traction yeah, yeah you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying a lot it of got traction. people tuned into what was happening. This shit is on pay-per-view. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, this shit is crazy, yeah, homie. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. It's sold out event. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it got to yeah. that point, yeah. though. It got to that point. Here. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell so yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. The biggest celebrities in the world yeah. be at the motherfucking events. You know what I'm saying? It be like you said, all these same venues that be getting sold out. Battle rap be selling them venues out. You know what I'm saying? Doing all that stuff. What, what year did you get to the point to where you was like, uh, hey, 